We are learning that President Trump and President Putin had a second encounter at the G20 summit earlier this month. Now, the White House is pushing back strongly this morning against criticism. It should have disclosed that second encounter. By some accounts, the meeting lasted an hour. Officials here say it was shorter and merely part of a social gathering. Still, it's creating yet another Russia-related flap for this administration. This morning, a striking new revelation. A White House official telling NBC News President Trump had a previously undisclosed conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin at this dinner held for world leaders at the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany. According to the Washington Post, citing a senior administration official, Mr. Trump left his seat and sat next to Mr. Putin. Critics say the undisclosed meeting is unusual, with no American aides to witness it and no official U.S. government summary of that encounter ever released. The only Russian English interpreter available provided by Putin, as each couple at the dinner was allowed just one translator. The American translator accompanying the president spoke Japanese because Mr. Trump was seated next to the prime minister of Japan's wife. Still, critics pounced. A basic failure in terms of um, national security protocol. There's only one person who really knows exactly what was said in the course of that conversation now, and it's the Russian translator. The White House pushing back, noting the president circulated freely and spoke to many leaders, adding the insinuation that the White House has tried to hide a second meeting is false, malicious and absurd. The president himself tweeting late Tuesday, story of secret dinner with Putin is sick, insisting the press knew. The evening exchange happening on the same day the two leaders had their first official meeting, which lasted much. more than two hours. It's an honor to be with you. The new disclosure comes as NBC News has learned there was an eighth person who attended that 2016 meeting with Donald Trump Jr. and Russian officials at Trump Tower. That person, Ike Kavaladze, a senior vice president at the real estate development company run by Russian oligarch Aras Agalarov, a former business partner of President Trump. In 2000, Kavaladze was the subject of a government investigation into possible money laundering in U.S. banks. His attorney telling NBC News, the reality is he has never been accused of any wrongdoing period, but on Capitol Hill, mounting concern. It's very disturbing to me that it's taken us this long for this kind of information to come out. And this morning, special counsel Robert Mueller has given the green light for the Senate to hear from Donald Trump Jr. and the president's former campaign chair, Paul Manafort, who was also at that meeting. The attorney for Ike Cavalazze tells NBC News special counsel Robert Mueller wants to interview him and he plans on cooperating. No date has been set for that or for Trump Jr. to testify on Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, overnight, the White House announced its new ambassador to Russia, John Huntsman, a former 2012 presidential candidate who was at times critical of Mr. Trump when he was a candidate. Savannah, Willie. All right, Kristen Welker leading us off from the White House. Thank you. Let's Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.